The first question that I want to ask you, Melinda, is obviously you're known around the world for being a, a philanthropist, but I'm sure if I asked you how you see yourself first and foremost, it's as a mother. I'm just curious how the work that the Gates Foundation and you've been doing, how has it kind of infiltrated your family life? Oh, thank you for asking. Yes, being a mother is just one of the greatest gifts in life. I was lucky enough to be in uh, the room when my daughter was in labor with her baby. And I could sit there, because there's a lot of time, right? And think about all the places I've been in the developing world where I've been in the delivery room and think, oh my gosh, if my daughter didn't have somebody here taking her blood pressure, or I know what hemorrhage looks like, um, I know what the pain of childbirth is like in these settings. and. So to see that my daughter was getting good care and still you're concerned at the time of the birth of the baby, it's, it's a bit scary until that baby comes healthy. I could think about all those things. And I think now having you know, two healthy daughters and a healthy granddaughter, it makes me all the more passionate about, let's make sure no mom dies in childbirth. That just shouldn't happen in, in this day and age. And I want to ask you about the, the five tools that the Gates Foundation has identified in, in really promoting and saving potentially more than four million lives. One of them, AI-assisted ultrasound. A sonogram is a very easy, basic tool that we use all the time in women's health. How are you hoping that's going to help? Well, if you think today about if you're a mom, let's say in the United States, when you go in, you get an ultrasound. It's a quite a large machine. You go into a special room to have it done. We were able with our partners to come up with a very small AI assisted ultrasound that literally can plug into your phone or plug into a tablet. A community health worker goes out to these women. And so if she can have an AI enabled ultrasound and literally with a few scans of that mom's belly, be able to see, is the child growing properly? Is the mom's health okay in terms of what you can see in the ultrasound? It's a game changer. What about the one dose HPV vaccine? This is something that um, was FDA approved, uh, not in the one dose uh, regimen, but here in the United States in 2006. It's been called by many oncologists, the single greatest advance in the world of cancer in a century. Uh, what do you hope that that can accomplish? Well, as you've said, we've had this vaccine since 2006, and I've been lucky enough to travel to the continent of Africa many, many, many times. And I can tell you since about 2008, women on the continent have been asking us for it. And the issue has been it's an expensive vaccine. As you said, it's two doses. And so the price needed to both come down and the formulation, we needed to prove that it could be done in one dose because then, Again, girls in a low-income setting don't even have to come into a community clinic for it. We can give it out in schools. We can give it out in places where they gather. So often a young girl never even makes it into the clinic. She, she may not ever make it into the clinic at all until after she's had a child, or she might make it in at the time of birth, and that's too late. Absolutely. Um, my last question, because I know you're so busy and I could talk to you forever, and this is gonna be the hardest one, if you could instantaneously change one thing on your mission of the Gates Foundation for women's health, what would it be? It would be that every single girl and woman on this planet who wants to have access to a contraceptive has access. There are 200 million women asking us for them. And we know that can women, when women can time and space the births of their children, the women are healthier, the children are healthier, the family is wealthier. And so I would make sure every single woman had access to contraceptives so she could decide when and whether to have a child. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.